Hi Andy, I'm very happy to have you here at the ICNC in uh, Berlin. What is your impression? What have you seen so far on this conference? Yeah, thanks as well for having me. Uh, I think it's a high-class conference which separates, I think, this one from a few others, I may say. Uh, the people are very interesting, they are high class people, they are very competent people in this field of electromobility, charging, energy, so you see a lot of people who are really into their business and are sneaking around here and, and doing a ton of test rides with our bikes, so uh, absolutely yes, I'm, I'm happy to be here, it's, it's a very special conference. How is eRocket involved and integrated in this global network here? Well, first of all, uh, we have uh, a good contact to the organizers such as Hubject, for example, just to name one. Um, there is no charging and no software and anything without vehicles. So these two industries are automatically linked very closely together. This is why you see our e-rocket here, where you see lots of electric cars. So in this global field of electric mobility, there is only the link together or nothing else. If there is no car, you don't need a charger. Is no, if, if there is no charger, there is no e-rocket needed and vice versa. So this, I think, why the match of this, let's say, conference exhibition is that successful. You are here as a speaker together with Tusha, your investor. So how is this work together with the Indian company Motorball? Well, I will give you some insights uh, on, with my keynote, actually, because it is on one end, of course, first of all, it's work. I mean, let's not be, let's be serious about it. You are sweating, and you are sweating a lot. But it's of course a very interesting cooperation. You have to, you have to overcome cultural distances. You have to talk with the people. You have to interact. To Sharon, my biggest thing is to have everybody on the way to our new Iraq kind of products in India on the world market. We have to remind every day our people what is our goal, where we want to do. But of course, it's a fascinating project and uh, probably it will be a very successful one, maybe compared to Tesla 12 years ago. Tesla, who is Tesla? Now nobody is talking about it. Maybe now people are saying, we see rocket, wait a few years and you will see by this corporation uh, with the gentleman named Tusha Choudhury from Motorvolt. What is the global picture for e-rocket with, together with the Indian company? Well, first of all, India is the biggest two-wheeler electric mobility market. So very understandable that we start there, but Motorvolt and eRocket are sharing the same vision that, and this is my really, really strongest vision since I'm in the industry. A product in electric mobility is only a good product if you look at continents, don't, don't look at countries. So the vision is really that we have, first of all, a lot of two-wheeler e-rockets in the Indian Asian market on the streets because Climate change will not be decided here in Germany, it will be decided over there. We need technology vehicles such as the e-rocket on these markets. Separately, of course, Europe is a big market, but then we have not spoken about the, Ameri the, the United States of America, which simply means both our vision is the global market to be conquered with our technology on two-wheelers, in boats, in whatsoever. Yeah, because e-rocket is much more than a two-wheeler, it's a technology behind it. So where do you see e-rocket in what kind of products or markets? So the two-wheeler, of course, because the two-wheeler, just by considering the aspect that too many cars are also a problem for a globe, because where should they all go on the streets? You need the narrow, fast, agile two-wheelers to survive and to get your place and your distance from A to B. On the other hand, coming back to our company, if you are in tech, and we are in tech, because we have this technology of bringing a vehicle into a movement by using pedals only, by don't using a thumbnail, by not even using a hand throttle, as far as the two wheelers are concerned. This is where, what we call the human hybrid technology, and under the roof of this human hybrid technology, you can have the technology in a two-wheeler, in a three-wheeler, in a boat where actually the first prototype is existing and in the water. So I hope that the human hybrid technology someday will to be seen as normal because there are millions and millions of vehicles using this technology, making people happy, making people healthy because of the movement and so on and so forth. Uh, it's always the same question people ask. Why does the e-rocket have pedals and why does this human hybrid technology is based on pedals? First of all, we can always start with the question, why do we need a hand throttle? 
ask a question and think about the answer. But of course, if you see the hand throttle as an interface of moving a two-wheeler from A to B, we change this interface into the pedals. And it's a little thing with a very big impact. People are love the intuitive movement of pedals. They're running safer because you adopted this as a child. Bicycle rider, if you can ride a bicycle, you can ride the e-rocket. You can use pedals intuitively using the pedals with the e-rocket going from zero to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour is an absolute insane riding sensation. I can only recommend, test it out, even if you're a motorcycle rider of a big Ducati or whatsoever, get on the e-rocket and you end up with a big smile in your face. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, where do you see e-rocket in, let's say, uh, three or five years? Well, absolutely will we be much more present on the European markets. We have more two-wheeler countries such as Spain, Italy, Portugal, France, only to name a few. We will hopefully be very, very strong in the Asian market because again, we know that there is climate change to be fight absolutely every day. But also, I think we will have a footstep very clearly in the US market and from there conquer the world. One last question, uh, one personal question. Why do you yourself are interested in working in this field of green and clean mobility? Well, first of all, I was I was surrounded by, by cars, planes, boats, whatever, uh, in, in my whole life. So it's, it's just a little bit of a logical consequence that I ended up with something like this. But what is it? What it for me is very important. I'm very happy, very, very proud to be part of the climate change fighting we have to do. The, I'm, I can really be excited about a V8 cylinder whatever car, but sorry, we have to make sure that for our children and children's children, this world has to change. So for me, it's very, very interesting to have a product coming from technology. That product has to be fun for the rider as far as the e-rocket is concerned, but in the same way, not using a combustion engine anymore, Uh, getting into the electric field is a must. Being part of that as the CEO of this company is a very wonderful thing. We are working 20 hours a day and it's fun. Thank you so much. My pleasure, man.